Oh, I know you. I okay, I was like, burgers. do I know you? Yeah, I know you. My poor departed luck. I finally met some Banuke keen to trade with Outlanders. Then they up and vanished. Three Banuke hunters rolled in a few days ago. No provisions, junk equipment, no idea how to strip a machine for parts. Asked me to outfit them for a long trip. You know me, Aloy. I'm sentimental. I don't really know you, though. So I did it on credit. We met, and they haven't like, paid. Well, they tried. Just look what five they minutes did to ago. this Thunderjaw heart. But that was ages ago, and I'm starting to worry about them. I'm not a debt collector, Berggrund. If I look for them, it'll be to make sure they're all right. Of course, of course. Fires of the Forge, forgive me. I actually like these idiots. I mean, his best friends, of course, yeah. So I think they we met him, like, on Thursday, that. and we talked, like, but, uh, five minutes. If you do and I'm supposed to, to know him. Could remind them of the deal we made. <laughs> A scorcher claw, a loop of sinew from a stalker, and a snap morphing. If they bring me those parts, their debt's paid. And then some. Just make sure they don't bust them up too badly. I'll mm -hmm, mm -hmm. consider it. Last I saw them, they were heading northeast. Good machine hunting up that way. If you decide they're worth the trouble, you might look for them there. We also remember the ravenous tribe who delighted in sucking the marrow from our broken bones. What am I doing? <laughs> Everywhere Banukai and her Warak fled, the ravenous tribe were never far behind. Seeking a way to defeat them, Banukai went into the wastes and let the wind oh. rip her cheeks. And when the cold brought sleep, she Do I have to go up light. there? She saw it behind the world, a great calming sheet of icy blue. And she saw something new. Herds of machines, each filled with the same people. Uh, Hello? Testament to survival. And how of the blue. There's no time to waste work. Machines must learn to kill them. Oh. Uh, oh. The song has kept me company in your absence. Okay. Big climbing up there. Looking for Skuli. You found her. Come, come. Let's get it over with. Oh. Is this her? How do I let it go again? Hello? Quite a view you've got up here. It's a useful perspective. How fleeting we are when the world is so wide. From up here, you can see how the light paints across the land, ever changing. That's a lesson. All our marks will pass. That Beautiful. Look sounds a little depressing for a painter. Haven't met many <laughs> artists, have you? Song's Edge needs new stories. I scrubbed its past off this rock to start anew, but a new start needs new colors, fresh pigments. Like none have Man. seen. Araya said you could help me get the Werak's attention. Araya works in strange ways, but I've drunk paint to survive in a blizzard, so I'm one to talk. I'll get you noticed if you bring me the pigments I need to complete my work. These pigments you want. Where should I look for them? Salts gather at the edges of geysers and hot pools. Crystals cling to the rocks and cliffs. The Banuk rock paintings are impressive, but, um... You want to know what they mean? That's not the right question, but... I'll answer anyway. Some are called to the machines. The sacred shapes you see on metal casings, or on a cauldron door. Do the machines listen to the call? I don't know. Others, like mine, are called to the tribe. 
You could say inspiration or prophecy. And sometimes even men listen if the painting is loud enough. Araya said you two were friends. I paint about what I feel now, not the way things used to be. Araya understood. Most Banuk didn't. I would have been exiled if she hadn't had Aratak take me into their Werak. Well, that's... Have you always been a painter? I've always painted. Kind of crazy. But I wasn't a painter until I was driven out of Banur. Up there, the markings are eternal. They paint over the same lines, the same colors, over and over. As a child, I learned from copying them. As I grew, my heart sank at the familiarity. All of us Banuk might as well be trapped in glacier ice. We have the look of life, but never really moving. I'll see what I can find for you. Seek out the vibrant ones. A spring of sudden color among snow or rock or metal. That's its own reward. But I'd reward you as well. I don't suppose you three know an Osram and songs at least do you? <laughs> Boys! That con artist sent an errand girl to collect what's owed to him. I'm nobody's errand girl. Bergen asked me to help harvest my house. Or would you rather keep trying to sell it? Junk. Broken junk. This pack will be on the move soon. No time to argue. If she's offering to help, we should accept it. Fine. Oh, wise one. Machines. If you're so eager to help, then lead the way. Honestly, not sure about this, but let's try to sneak around first. Faster, faster, faster. Oh, and oh, I cannot over it. Oh, no. Talk about our deal with Bergrind. Let's talk. That's done. You yeah, let's talk. Fight. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Not that we needed your help. We are doing just fine without you. That's not the way Bergrind tells it. He says you tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time <laughs> for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergrind's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. Why are you leaving the cut? Well, we could go back to Banor. Let Anakut slit our throats. By the blue light, Orkai. Why don't you just write our story in the snow for any passing hunter to read? <sighs> we... had a dispute with the chieftain of our old Werak. We thought someone else should have been in charge. He disagreed. It seemed like a good time to move on. So, we are traveling to the Sundom. From here to the Sundom? It's a long trip. Seems worth Indeed. it. Sometimes survival is about knowing when to leave and where to go. Yeah, and in this case, survival means us getting as far away as we can from Bonor. We've seen enough red snow. What's the plan once you get there? What will survival be about then? Look. All that matters is that we get there. And to do that, we need shards. So if you'll excuse us. So this Thunderjaw heart you brought Bergrin. Let me ask you this, all right? Why would it matter that the heart was broken into two pieces? Can't you just stick it back together? Of course you can't no. just stick it back together. I just meant... Oh, I bet that scam artist Osirim could. He just wants to send us on another stupid errand. Oh, he's not so bad. I like Bergrind. Like him? Tulamot, he sent us out in the snow to nearly die under the feet of a Thunderjaw, and- Boys, shut up! Ugh. <laughs> Every time someone brings up that stupid heart. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergrind was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Mawfang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's got to keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. 
The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's so, uh, what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to die. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's not like your names are any better. That, that, that's you. the best name. We're headed northwest to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. All right. Hello, guys. There's the herd. Everyone ready? <laughs> are you joking? We were born ready. Let's go mm -hmm. get them, flaming skulls. Nope. That's flaming awful. skulls. It is a pretty bad name. Good effort, though, Urkai. Forget it. Let's just go kill something. I mean, flaming skulls is not so bad. Did you get that component now? That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Bergrind. Starting to feel real, you know. I'm starting to believe we're really going to get out of here. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nikoni. But here we are. Who's Nikoni? Nikoni... Nikoni was... She, she was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're going to tell this story... Tell it true. She was murdered. Oh. Is this why you left Benor? Because of this business with Nikoni and your chieftain? Onika knew Nikoni was our mentor, our friend. We couldn't stay. That final night, we snuck back to camp, packed what we could, and left. Like cowards. What are we to tie? We are Banuk, aren't we? Survive and prevail. That's what we do. It's not what she did. What happened? How did you lose Nakoni? She challenged the chief into a hunting competition. Only could damn him. He wasn't nearly the hunter Nakoni was. But who comes back to the camp after the trial? Only could, grinning like a snap maw, crowing, Oh, where's little Nakoni? We tracked Nukoni through the woods. Found her not far from the trailhead. Their damn neck snapped. I don't uh. remember her like that. Sometimes that memory, it's all I can think of. I'm sorry to tie. It sounds like she meant a lot to you. To all of you. Nikoni yeah, that's, the chieftain. that doesn't sound like a fair Nikoni fight. Wrap himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you're willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werex split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Oniku's feet and the rest of us waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Aloy. Aww. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Banoa is buried in Banoa. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Burning turkeys? Oh, the burning <laughs> turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, <sighs> where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap mall thing. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. Better to wait outside for them. I was starting to worry about you three. Everything all right? We took our time. After our last conversation, we had a lot to think about. I can imagine. Just one more hunt, then your debt is paid and you three can make your way south. Ready? Huntress, the sunshine snowshoes await your signal. Sunshine <laughs> <laughs> snowshoes. <laughs> Horrible. I'm almost impressed, Dulamok. Didn't think you could come up with a name worse than burning turkeys. Well, I liked it. Let's hunt. Even Aloy was laughing. <laughs> come here, Aloy. Let's have a proper goodbye, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, I got a fish. There. 
That's the last of Bergren's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice <laughs> shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Oh. Uh -huh. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nakoni wanted to hunt. Nakoni had big dreams. A werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nakoni. We can become the werak she always wished for. Aww. You won't have I hope they make it. Now. Are you three gonna be alright? Nah, doesn't look that hard, really. We'll be fine. Great. He washes three successful harvests and he's suddenly a shaman. When you get to Song's Edge, talk to Bergrind. If he can't teach you himself, he'll know someone who can. Sure. And I bet he charges us for the introduction. Uh, thank you, Aloy. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting Banuk lands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. It's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? That's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about well. you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? You lost someone you care about. That leaves a wound. The sort of wound a lot of people don't recover from. Yeah. We've got nothing but scars to show for it. That's the point. Only survivor scar. After everything you've been through, you keep going. We're the scars of the North. Scars of the North. Sounds pretty tough, doesn't it? <laughs> Thank you, no. Aloy. It's a good name. Okay, One well, more. I guess it's better than the rest. Oh, that's so nice. I will do this one last quest here and then I will go back and continue with uh, being a chieftain or trying to be a chieftain at least. But it's really so crazy to me how this got preserved over the years. Like, I forgot how many thousand years passed, but a lot. Detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Hmm. Is that the thing? <laughs> now who did and what here? That they shouldn't have. Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flow? Yeah. 
Huh. I should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Oh? Uh huh, I'm missing a part. Trying to see anything. In this room with another holographic interface. There must be some kind of code. The piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Um I guess you're going to say. Someone has been through here. Not that long for me. Oh? Good job, buddy. Well, I didn't do anything, but sure, I can help you. Are you all right? <laughs> you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> well, you're For welcome. Moment, I my fire was snuffed. The forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Exactly. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Boy. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to flood a little. a little. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. And thusly do we come this to guy. the present moment. You said something about an artifact? So Indeed, he basically messed up everything. That storage room Even is destroyed the bridge. Brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate... Looking glass. Looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face. I see. Seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh. Yes, I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. You know what, I'm so, just happy. We need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl. Two sets of hands. Behind uh -huh. us lie a pair of enormous gates. But I so basically, I have to do all of the break. In I see. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started then. I guess we better. Try. You know, I'm reminded of the Dell by undertook out me 
<laughs> What's this way? Nothing, okay. Oh my god, he's just talking and talking and talking and talking. Am I gonna be able to make the jump there? Nice jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! I've never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety! Thanks, I think. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, more stuff to listen to. I have to go to the other now side, I suppose. Once before. Could be as easy as falling down a hole. If you mm -hmm. take the valve on the other side, you can set up the same way on this side. I should look through an access tunnel. Yeah, just do it easy. <laughs> this place looks more messed up than some other. Very rusty. Is there something over here? Okay. Oh, ew. Yummy. Uh, 
Um. I'm not sure actually what to do. Am I supposed to go here? What am I doing? I don't know. But I keep going, I guess. Why? Oh wait, more up? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I can't jump straight to the counterweight from here. And I could climb higher, but I won't. Oh boy, this is a great idea. Indeed it is. This looks very safe, not dangerous at all. Oh boy. Yes, I'm clever. Was I supposed to jump? Find out after I've killed it. I hear it, but I don't see. <laughs> How do I get down there? Can I just put this way? Nap Marchan, where are you? But probably I need to jump. Hmm. Is that much on? Oh, that was a nasty night. Actually. Kind of useless. Easy. This kind of feels like cheating, but also not really. Ouch. 
Ah, I missed it. He's gonna push me down. To do this all over again now because there wasn't a single save is it dead just tell me when it's dead would you oh it's how dead. am i down marvelous so the uh ring maybe if you cry it's jaws but i feel like this is a cheating Let's get this part. All right. This thing did swallow the ring. <laughs> That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Mm -hmm. Chosen Very convenient. To be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage to room. For what we need to, to the spoils. I wonder if I could empty out the whole dam. Pipes, valves. Maybe I can drain the rest of the water from here. Man, let's try anyway. Could use my focus. Sure, all right. Time to get the flow going to the right place. I say this as a man typically enamored of complexities, but this looks like it might be a little much for me. Don't worry. I think I've got this. Music to my ears. To each job, it's proper tool. Toothpicks make horrible arrows, as the saying goes. I'm not really sure if I understand this. What should go where? So that didn't help. No. Oh, okay. I think that did it. That's not quite right. You got a competent mind, girl. A mind for nuance and finesse. Not I. No, indeed. Not old Gildan. I don't. Looks like I'm on the right track. Are we? Yeah, this is not getting there. You've been at this a while, girl. No room to judge, mind. I won't spend half a day flummoxed by a Karja puzzle box. <laughs> mm. Are you... are you sure about that? 
Because I... I don't think so. <laughs> I really don't think so. <laughs> Step closer. I'm rather confused. It should be like this. Getting there? No, we're not. I know. Stop it. So this is like an absolute Wait, no, go back. So this is like an absolute position. Looks like I'm on the right track. Getting there. Okay. Looks like I'm on the right track. Maybe we are now. No, go back. Orange. Um. There, one step closer. Okay, I think we did it. a bit harder than I thought it's gonna be but oh, what is this stuff here? Looks like that's everything. You smell that? I should head back up with Gilded. Smells like a Ford side morning in a claim. Are we going in the right direction? I'm not sure. But hopefully we have to beat that crystal music situation. So, as we circle back around to the matter of the supply room. I can't wait, I can't wait! 
Oh my god, he's running. Can I... Almost there. Yes, yes, chill out, dude. This is probably in the way. Just like Mama. That's possibilities for me to get lost. But of course I have to solve the puzzle of this door. The lock positions. Helpful. Left, up, down, up, right. And I already forgot, so left. Up. Uh, what? Down. Um. What are you doing with your hands oh. there, girl? Right? Oh, I didn't forget. Okay. I'm doing magic! <laughs> I can't believe that worked! I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Well, I guess there isn't any. I'm okay. gonna take this. Let's fix the panel and shut this place down. Gilda? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I was so sure. Right there in the window. I would. Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides, what are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a delve it was! Ugh! By the great blazing forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. Oh, that's broken. Why is it broken? Can't carry more. Is seven TV broken? Then it's whole lot broken prettier, on my it? side because <laughs> I don't see the emoji just like a broken image. What does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge. <laughs> you oh my god. Wonder. Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. <laughs> It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. I mean, I kinda did. No. No, I suppose not. But so what's you seem like a nice guy, way back so. To the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encounter mm. it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Well, I did have to update too. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. We all take a look. Another adventure so soon? <laughs> Braver than me. Oh, no <laughs> <laughs> did I not die? Water's <laughs> lower. I'm going by that 
sound. Okay. Lala's already at the bin. You said nothing. <laughs> But a child, okay. Oh, pretty. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their souls. Oh. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Oh, completely drain the flood water from the ins from inside the grey catch. I did an achievement. Okay, give me a sec. I need to put on my jumper because I'm cold. Okay. Yeah, what's the reason? Job. I changed the settings but for the wrong channel. Uh huh, I see. I see, mister. Whatever's happening in Thunder's Drum, it's not enough to bring down the Banuk. Greetings. Can us challenge our attack? The daemon calls to the machine. Send fight, them fight, to fight. My fight. people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow out yonder. Yes. And apparently, this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? It is. For the work. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. By default, if you enable it, it is at 8. Huh? Now I see. That's, the Outlander's yeah. your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who Ooh. forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Wait, sister and brother? Even sister, this is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures. Hmm, some family drama, okay. Mockery. But there's an additional check after those eight to see if the majority of the messages kept or not, so the people don't get time that for the messages. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. Not always the best judge of people. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this... I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. 
and Aratak. I won't make that mistake again. See you at the Frost figures then. Well, it is happening. We're gonna fight to be the chieftain. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of the new hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. The markings of a demon. Hunter used to run from a challenge. Is that Steve? Hmm? What is that completion thing? Oh, he, this guy. How'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. You know those handsomely. three crazy Banuka calling themselves the Scars yeah. of the North now. <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt. Yes, of my you own. can come up. So they've gone south then. Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger, a pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. Okay, the frost figure should be just up there. See anything? Uh, am I going on a path? Our token array must be close. Yeah. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw. I mean, if you let me go to Thunderstrom, I will. Will you let us go to Thunderstrom? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it. I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground. Enough! Let us begin. They to are hunt, both very stubborn. To strive. That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Oh no. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Oh great. <laughs> your hunt will take you around okay, the ridge to the center, where you must ascend to the valley <gasps> for your final cake, kill. Nice Each time, Welcome back. I hope after you your prey has fallen, there. You okay. must launch a beacon such as this, this so that awesome. all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. But as Challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Aratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. I'm gonna fail. I don't know if the game will like actually let you fail or you can fail. All right, gotta head up that mountain. But uh looks like there are a few ways to go up. And those rock paintings mark the pass. I will go this way. Huh? 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 
I decided on that I might make a cake for myself because it's just okay, a really expensive go. order cake. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna be expensive if I'm gonna make one. Wait, what? 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 Oh, this way. I think he's already winning because I'm blind. Come on, Aloy, time's wasting. Yeah, it's not my fault that you don't want to go up. Oh. I seem to Beep. Be on the right path. Boop. Beep. I'm for a baking stream, but you make your own birthday cake. I, I even have worse space than you had, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Basically, I have no kitchen, so. Almost to the top. Hello, guys. All right, Challenger. You need to take up the herd below. Every machine. The herd. Okay. Great. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh god. Yeah, let me just loot around. They got like 10 centimeters or 100 centimeters. I'm climbing! Thing. I stand correctly. Enough space. You you don't know what you're talking about. I can barely there even cook go. a meal. Now climb the ridge and launch it below. Oh shut up! I'm climbing, bro. Oh, this is so cool. I love this part. Talk knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Definitely isn't friendly Ooh, for sight. The head challenger. Yes. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. Bellowbex. What is that? What is a bellowback? Dog tooth. Charger. Are those the big ones? But yeah, the cooking stream wouldn't really work for me or baking stream. Yes, those are the ones that I gonna have to fight through. I shouldn't fall from there. Oh 
Oh my god, the demon, the big ones are coming after me. That's cool. Okay, now. Oh my god, you're too close, dude. Okay, what is your weakness? Okay. None of the other matters, but they don't let me do anything, pretty much. Okay. Okay. Nice. We're getting there. Ow. Thank you. No ammo. Wait, why? Okay, that was not what I... Can you die, you little... thing? Let's go, let's go! Ooh. I better get that balloon. Plus I would definitely not use the hand spoon thingy. Like I would definitely use my mixer. Come on over here and launch your balloon. Yes. I'm launching my balloon. Hello? I know, but it doesn't work. Oh, okay. I was going to the wrong place. I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta <sighs> get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Not using the mixer was my hand work. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, that was close. Please don't make me fight that big thing, big thing down there. Oh wait, that's not a machine. All right, the last challenge. I don't see anything, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a big one. Oh. Something's wrong. My kin should be here. Driving in our final quarry. Oh. They're oh. Right I knew. I knew this big, big thing. Okay. Oh, another one. Oh, great. That's gonna be lovely. And the third one. Ooh. You know what? I will take the hydrate and posture check before this. <laughs> This is gonna be quite <sighs> quite chaotic. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. <laughs> we we'll see. Okay, hold on. I need to bunk bunk. Thank you for the bunk. Why bunk though? Uh... Let's cheese our chances with some traps. Okay. Oh, oh my God! How are you so close already? <laughs> Oh my god, or not, or don't. Ah, thank you. Oh, 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 
Oh my god. Okay. I don't see what I'm shooting! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was kind of the dramatic. Ouch. Okay. One is down. This is not that hard, actually. I thought this is gonna be worse. This saw that time when you make. I do, but I forgot how. I don't remember how. <laughs> Because I'm a pro gamer. Oh, 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 oh. I almost shot his belly. <laughs> Too close. See, I'm not afraid to confess when I'm a dummy. So it's true. Frostclaws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. <sighs> can I at least go to Thunder Drum? Like you, you saw what she did. You don't have to come with me. Feed the machines, not I. It is proven. Oh, she's the better hunter. Yay! I that's kind of questionable, the but I will take it. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. Take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters um. may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Ho ho ho! Okay, let's go to Thunder's Drum. Let's go. We're not going anywhere until we finish this drum section. Awaits. It's kind of late already, but I don't care. Called. Meet us there when you're ready. I want to know, Chieftain. Seven. And a weapon like our talks. I guess the chieftain gets the chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Enough to keep me from thunder strong. Oh, more, more side quests. Why? Well, we're not doing side quests. It would be my. I've heard of you, Huntress. Each of the many verses of your song mm. tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hmm, that I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Umnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the claws beneath. Or they did when I was younger. 
Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting our attack, leading your own Werak. If half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You hmm. want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. This is obviously important to you, Umnok. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. Okay, we can do it next time. One or two to main quest. A friend of mine. He died while we hunted the claws beneath. Many, many years ago. Would spilling my blood on his grave make him happy? Would it bring him peace? It seems unlikely. All right, Umnok. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the Claws Beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Mm. Hunt well. Right? My pop Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja, pleasure. Mm. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glen talk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear our talk hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? Yeah, I got all of them, girl. I took this thing off an Osaron bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I think I can manage that. Don't I have one already? So, let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful, and then there's beautiful. <laughs> what we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You wanna take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I love that. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should... Right. So, Kinda like her. or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Uh, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. 
you're Don't sure I you have those things? Thing? You bet. This forge fire view. Like I said. So we need parts from a stormbird. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling though. We can find a thunderjaw out in the valley meet and a stormbird roost near the free heat. I'll pack and meet you out there. This will be fun. Okay. Uh, yeah. Mm, not right now. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our scouts are watching for more frost calls. Our number, but our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with this course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. That's not entirely true. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. I mean, you can't blame her. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As Nothing a shaman, good, probably. She's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted. No way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. Hmm, I think we're gonna uh, go I'd into a cauldron that never we were once before. Never to that again. Like, 20 hours before. <laughs> For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Hmm. Someone has to keep Araya safe. chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light it's not a chance i would have had alone i needed an outsider someone ignorant of our ways but no not ignorant i are you trying to thank me Araya? yes of course <laughs> that's what you do untangle knots create possibilities thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. You should talk with your brother and make amends. Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave, but you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Von Orr from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Werak that rarely comes south to parlay. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. 
His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Oh, he robbed them. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Oof. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. It hasn't been easy for you, Horea. Getting back to this point. It was all to hear her voice again. I wonder what will he time. say when... He figures we that we like know that. what he did here. Are you ready then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. You know what? We can ignore those side press. I don't have to do anything. You can call upon the power of the old ones. Well, that was smart indeed. Thank you for them. <sighs> what was this place? Whoa. The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from terrible danger. Fortress? Looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? Blue light often dwells in the shades. Let's just hope that some remains here. Here, up and over. Oh, I do hear machines. No, first, 2064. It's been three years since I was last here, and 12 since I was running the place. Just a scout of the left, confused about why I'm here. So am I. Anita wants me to find a way to suspend operations for a while, maybe a long while, and I don't know why, but from the sound of her voice, it was something terrifying. I wish I could look into her eyes, ask her what the hell she's so freaked out about, but what else is new? When don't I wish I could look into her eyes again? 
Aloy? Were you listening for something? There are... memories here. Messages left by the old ones. And you can hear them. I envy you. What did they say? I'm not sure yet, Aria. Hmm, something sus is happening here. Let's see. Whoa, okay. That looks we ominous. Here. We fought our way through there. The machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Oh yeah. Let's see. Now we must prevail. With only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. And so we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. Alright, I get the options. Now follow hmm. my lead. I think I wanna try to sneak around. Wait. Oh god, we we going away. Oh no. <laughs> so we could have come in this way as well. Okay, good. Well. Is this a projector? Maybe to show holograms without focus. If I can restore power. Aratak, Araya, you might see shapes drawn from light. Don't be alarmed. It'll take more than light to alarm me. Let's see. Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director, Kenny Chow. Oh. So, here's to you, Kenny. You put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. Her name is Cyan. The spirit's the spirit? name. The old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aria. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked. As for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. An we AI. Probably. through a lot of machines to get to that door. More than the wear I could prevail against. The geothermal plant can be suspended. A cooling system amassed. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All I need to do is install Anita's mysterious software and have a conversation. It's not even a human being, right? Hmm. What up? Okay, I have to hold. See? 
Oh. Oh, I see. You know what? Is it not working this time? I guess not. Okay. Okay. Oh god, which way do I jump from you? Ah, ah, ah. Too close, too close, too close. Oh my god, what the... What is that thing? Oh. I don't oh. have much stock in even songs of deeds. There. But that battle Marja should be able to was fix a up verse worth singing. Now, Aloy, the door. Can you open it? Don't get a break, it's just one fight after the other. Yeah, kinda. So let me get up and give the bot to my other dog now. This that he wants. Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has all this well now taken over. Yeah, it kind of looks like that way. It's like an infection attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed, it's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits lost to us. Find a new path, Aurea. I promise. All right, let's go. Yes, we finish this. Hmm. I mean, oh, that's useful. This place looks more like the mountain used to be. Let's override everything, what could go wrong? So maybe he escaped here and trying to preserve. I don't know. This doesn't look very friendly to me to begin with. What are you guys doing?
What's this? Their test subject's sentience is assessed at 0 0.54 within legal limits. Weighted against the results of the other test, subject's prior score of 0 0.61 is considered a false positive. Mm, qualitative subtest. Pain response, humor response, emotional aptitude, aesthetic evaluation, morality, morality evaluation. What is happening? Not the same. Sorry. Which way then? Do we just like go down here? Through the lava we go. of this facility has introduced instabilities into the primary geothermal pipeline. It may be possible to exploit these vulnerabilities to destroy compromised elements of this facility while preserving most of the backup stabilization. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional... I don't understand what the spirit was trying to tell us. It's been looking for a way to defeat the demon. So this is Yellowstone? In that scenario, pretty much everyone dies. Everyone except Cyan. Chief Digital Security Officer and Interim AI Administrator for the Firebreak Project, I hereby state to have updated the orbicular pattern for the Cyan Regulatory AI on the 7th September 2064 according to procedure to ensure against tampering, meddling, disarranging, or outlandish mischief of any kind. Are we gonna have to fight? Oh my god, okay, um... It's a lot of brain work for my tiny brain. Spirit of the blue light. It's Aurea. Your Amazing. servant. <laughs> right. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already Thank been you. released. To counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chamber. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been closed, but I am in
That's all we're gonna get from here. Destroy this fortress. Is that even possible? And what will happen to the spirit if we do? I don't know. But I think that's the core. Maybe we can the save her somehow? Hephaestus. The daemon. There's no way it left it unguarded. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. <laughs> Then lead us into battle. Hey, why don't I craft some bombs as a start? Or traps, sorry, not bombs. Oh, I'm almost full, okay. And mow them. Prepare. All right, here we go. Keep moving towards the core. Mm. Oh, we're going that way. Uh oh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. That's. How do we go there? Oh wait, never mind, I see it. Walking through lava. Okay, Cyan said something about restraints. <laughs> I don't see any machines, so I should be able to override it without any shrine. destroy the compromised elements of this facility in order to maintain caldera oh no i must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center aurea i'm free well but he's gonna die isn't she she looks you very must messed escape. up Artuk. Artuk. 
survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? I gotta go, man. I'm sorry. Like, I would have wanted a happy ending for her, but we gotta go. go. I have Tomb Raider flashbacks. Oh, that was it. Come on, dude, you can do it. Welcome to the gang. Oh. Oh no. Well, you're not gonna... Oh. Oh. Give me up to our attack. Now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I... Conveniently had one. We. <laughs> I can't blame him, <laughs> flying, <laughs> flying out from a cave like this. Oh, and that's um, what is it called? In English, when the snow comes down like that. <laughs> Snowy then? Maybe. I really don't know the word in English. Yes, you live and learn. boy and that 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 sequence took me an hour now to finish it's crazy what of cyan we're gonna we'll see i guess i hope she's she said she was gone. transferring herself to the auxiliary center i think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path And I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. Oh, poor Aratog. At least Aura had died for what she believed in. After this, I'm gonna be done. But I really wanna finish this.
The Banuka might find this blue gleam stuff valuable. Mm -hmm. It's not blue gleam. with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you, but there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Oh. Never was I so happy to see him. Or so proud. So you see, if anything can be done to defend you, he will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack, if you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. She sounds so human, like the way she talks. So cool. Wait, I want to talk to our attack. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna talk to her first. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion but this is something new. Oh, the cyanide. I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different he became from the a Banuka. Terrain. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Colleagues. So are you an artificial intelligence, Sonia? Oh. A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity, capable of rational decision-making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. But your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems. But I was alone. It was Aurea who renewed me, repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. Oh. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. If only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow, 
years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. There were no further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. I will transmit a recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your oh, focus. Okay. It was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code, originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus oh. hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, what a mess. even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. But that's not all. Something unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions. Brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them. But it didn't work. They all got free. Out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Banuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Mm, yes, we I all see. Have machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. I Our see. That makes sense. That's for sure. What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants, I feel... Substantial anxiety, Aloy. You and me both, Cyan. Yep. I ran across a strange piece of gear. A fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby...
nearby machines became peaceful, you could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Believe me, Cyan. So do I. I found the strangest machines. They're so good to talk with this like AI, man. This is one of the best parts. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far. I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. That was a good one. Something must have made these machines, and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Maybe one whose purview is flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. But what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. <laughs> You meant a lot to Araya. Once I understood Araya's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Araya's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am <laughs> eager to experience. So in the old world, this land was called Yellowstone? Yes, it was a designated nature preserve for 156 years. Like a hunting ground? No, the opposite. Local wildlife could flourish here even as it faced extinction elsewhere. Unfortunately, the sensitivity of the Firebreak project required the total closure of Yellowstone facilities. From my readings and Aurea's descriptions, it seems the area has since undergone a drastic drop in year-long temperatures. A lot has changed in the world, Cyan. Do you know anything about the dam near here? Yes. It was converted to serve as a reserve power source for Yellowstone operations. It was later appropriated for the Firebreak project, and its last human workers replaced by Pharaoh servitors. Oh, Pharaoh, After yes. my tasks became less time critical, I investigated the dam's data repositories and discovered the works of Concrete Beach Party. These provided me with several colorful additions to my vocabulary. Okay. Were there many artificial intelligences like you in the old world? They could just make you? Yes. In many forms, from simple personal assistance to industrial monitoring Same. stations to military-grade conflict planners. 
And he replied. And there were legislative and enforcement bodies to apply limits on our self-actualization. In order for my processing to be flexible enough to handle my duties, my creators found it necessary to exceed those limits. As a result, my intellectual and emotional capabilities were kept secret. Seems strange to create life than impose limits on it. Human societies and machine programming are both built upon sets of rules, Aloy. Cyan, do you know the name Ted Farrow? Are you referring to Theodore Farrow? CEO of Farrow Automated Systems? That's him. Mr. Farrow was the benefactor of the entire Firebreak project. A benefactor? But he made machines. Robots. War robots. Correct. His corporation later transitioned into military applications. But before this pivot, Mr. Farrow spearheaded initiatives that reversed the global decline. At one point, he was fated in the media as the man who saved the planet. <sighs> Guessing they wound up regretting that one. Well, yeah. And Elizabeth Sobeck. Did you know her? Are you referring to the... The scientist. Dr. Sobeck was a leader in her field. One of the greatest scientists of her age. My creator was influenced by her work, which in turn impacted my own development. But I never met Dr. Sobek. That's all you know? I apologize if my lack of data has disappointed you. What was the old world like? The way it used to be. I had little exposure to the wider world, Aloy. Only what I learned from my colleagues or observed from media streams. You still I'm sure the media streams so. have. That is true. I was created at a turning point. A concerted effort to recover from global upheaval an incalculable loss of life. The recovery was successful, beginning an era of supposedly limitless potential for human and machine advancement. Though, rationally speaking, the metrics for humans are not unlimited. What kind of upheaval caused such loss of life? There were many factors. Forced migrations, food shortages, collapsed economies, refugee crises, conflict over resources. But these stemmed from one cause, catastrophic climate change that greatly reduced the habitable surface area of the Earth. So there wasn't enough room Sounds for people Sounds familiar, guys. Earth. Yes. Billions were displaced and millions perished, as much as 20% of the global population. Until the clawback. So things got better. For a little while, at least. Yes. These crises instigated many advances in automation, green robot technologies, and artificial intelligence. Firebreak was one of dozens of ecological restoration and disaster relief projects in North America alone. I would have liked to compare notes with other monitoring AIs, but I saw the relief of my colleagues, and I was proud we had succeeded. At least, that was the data I had available to me over the next two decades. It seems my assessment was premature. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Aratak will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Araya. You're asking me if you should lie to them? Broadly, yes. Yeah, take it gently. Life is hard for the Banuk. Their world is unforgiving in their beliefs. I guess they help to keep them going. So take it easy on them. Try to guide them. Bring them around to understanding what you are. Communion with machines features heavily in the mysticism of the Banuk. I think they will be agreeable to this approach. As long as they don't end up worshipping you. Upon consideration, I believe such an experience would be intensely uncomfortable. <laughs> You're right about that. <laughs> Trust me. I see. I will follow. I love Cyan. Will you 
return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. I'll come back when I can. I should check on our talk. See you, Mr. I love this part. I'm so happy I did it. Let's talk with our attack and then we are talking today. Oh, there he is. My chieftain. Just... Eli. As you wish. I wondered if you thought... That if I'd never come along, Araya might still... If you'd never come along, I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Araya would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Araya found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, well, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides, it already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now, too, has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. Oh. It would seem your time among the Manuk wasn't a waste after all. Oh, shut up, Cyan. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. Is it I now? The signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds of their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Apparent life, transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter-killers, which means that someday, we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Uh -huh. I heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. 